Good after morning noon! What time is it? What day is it? Does it even matter? What it's really time for now is the Six Seed Countdown Challenge. Come on into the potting shed and find out what it's all about. Yeah, if you haven't seen any of our previous semi-instructional, semi-entertaining videos, episodes one and episodes two, we suggest that you go back and watch them so that you can track our gradual decline into madness in our garden. Anyway, today is the big six seed challenge, countdown challenge. Catchy. Ooh. Basically at the moment, it's April, everyone's getting stuff out, everyone's trying to get stuff in. Uh, <coughs> see what I did there? Um, and a lot of people are confused, in, out, put it in the ground, put it in the module, take it out, thin it out, what to do. So today we've picked six, six vegetable crops and my challenge is I have to sow each of them within 30 seconds. So we're going to have a 30 second countdown going and I have to try and sow a quick crop of all of them. So the crops we're going to do is uh, we've got some spring onions here, white Lisbon's the variety, parsnip, aromata, um, carrots here, yellowstones, lovely yellow carrots. We've got uh, four varieties of squash, because these are brilliant to grow, they keep for ages. And then we've got some basil, sweet genovese. But that's only five. Ah, I always forget. My emergency, this is for the apocalypse. I keep my courgette seeds in my hat at all time in case I'm on the run and I'm in the woods at large. Cocozella. Uh, and first up, I'm gonna choose Oh, hang on a minute, I think we need some music. Uh, what do you think? Do you know the countdown theme tune? I'll have a bloody bash. Right, it's time for our first six seed countdown challenge. What are we starting with, Carmen? Courgettes. Right, courgettes. I'm going to put them into individual pots. Two, three. That looks like about eight. Seed compost! Right now, to put the seeds in, about two centimetres below the soil, so we use the little top of our finger there, so make a little hole. Nice, in it goes. Courgettes, you don't want to plant them outside till May, so you need to keep them in your greenhouse or in a nice warm window, so we're going to the greenhouse right now. Give them all a little drink. Always put a label in. Done. And what's next in the six seed countdown challenge? Squash. Right, we're going to do a nice um, Uchikiri squash here. So we're going to pop again. Don't get too anxious about the depth, but a couple of centimetres, a little finger. Okay, these are going outside in May as well, so keep them under cover for about a month. Time to skip back to the greenhouse. Same as before. Water them, label them, leave them till May! Water them, label them, leave them till May. What's next? Basil. Basilico! Okay, so basil seeds are tiny, they need to be inside, certainly this time of year, we're still in April, um, so either on your windowsill or in your greenhouse, we're going to do these in modules. Modern tray. So I'll use a little dibber here to make a tiny little hole. You could do these in pots as well, depending on how much you like the basilico. So we're going to put this little lid on because again, basil does need the warmth, so windowsill, you could use a clear polythene bag if you don't have one of these, chuck it on your windowsill. Get them watered. Yeah. What's next? Carrots. Carrot Yellowstone, this is a direct sow outside in April, so let's get out to that fine tilth. Right, 
we're ready at our carrot bed. Beautifully prepared fine tilt. So first I'm going to string out a line. Carmen's very strict about straight lines. Next I'm going to take a little trowel and make a little uh, divot for our seeds. A drill. We're aiming for carrots to end up four to six centimetres apart. They will need to be thin probably. What's on the board? Spring onions. Spring onion. White Lisbon. Here we go. Outside, direct so. I can't turn my back for a second because I come back and someone's put a new pathway in. Anyway, we're going to sow these at a similar row interval, about 25 to 30 centimetres. Lovely. Okay, we're doing about one centimetre deep, so I'm going to use my hore hore. A bit smaller than our trowel trench. Worked, did it? <laughs> so I'm going for a couple of inches between each seed. Probably need to thin these out a bit later on in the year. Gently tuck that in. Remember, we only want it to be about a centimetre deep, which isn't really very deep. What's next, Carmen? Ooh, parsnips. Parsnip. Aramata. This again, outside direct so in April. Let's do it. I love parsnips because they're really sweet and also you can pretty well store them in the ground for ages and then just dig them up when you need to, rather than a carrot which one might need to store in a clamp, but that's for another semi-instructional video. And because I haven't used enough machines for a while, we're going to go old school with this and try sowing our, our parsnips using this little guy. Kind of overkill for a two centimetre trench, but let's have a go. Cover these to about two centimetres. So that looks like about two centimetres. Parsnip finito. How did you find that? Sip of gin, it was lovely. Um, you know, I think I've really earned it after that, that gruelling six seed challenge. And what I really learned out there in the field was that you can't plant a vegetable crop in 30 seconds without speeding up the film afterwards. That's it, my boy. You show off to the stars. Don't drink that rancid pond. I hope you take something from the six seed challenge back to your own gardens and maybe just don't don't rush it don't try and rush this your seed like so enjoy it it's much more fun